Hello, Radiant Church. Pastor Jeremy here. And I wanted to take a couple moments and chat with you about how we can face our cultural moment. What is the Christian response to the cultural moment we uh, are experiencing presently? Um, if you haven't noticed, if you may have noticed, I should say, um, that uh, the national conversation is very chaotic, very combative. And certainly as we get closer and closer to the election, uh, the political conversation is something that invades just about every part of our life, it seems, uh, both on social media and just everywhere you look. And so with, as in the closer and closer we get to the, uh, the election, it's only going to get more, uh, things are going to come more and more and more to a fever pitch. And so how do we, how do we ma uh, face that? Uh, what do we do? Well, one of the things that we get to do as Christians is pray. And one of the things I love to do is to pray from Scripture. Because when you're faced with a overwhelming or a concerning situation, um, a lot of times you may not know how to pray. Or what, what, uh, what, what, what words do you pray? How do you know that the prayers that you're praying are landing or the right prayers? Well, that's why it's so wonderful to be able to pray from Scripture. So I'm going to read from Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, and then show you how you can turn this into a prayer to face our day. Daniel 2, 20 to 21. Blessed be the name of the, a God forever and ever, to whom belong wisdom and might. He changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. So a few different ways we can pray from this particular passage. First, where it says, blessed be the name of God forever and ever. One of the things that we can do is pray that God would help us to rest. Rest in his forever reign. We, um, can rest in his wisdom and might. Even if the powers that be, even if the political situation is not wrought with wisdom and is concerning, we can always rest in his sovereign good rule. And so you pray and say, Lord, I thank you that your uh, name is to be blessed and your name and your reign will last forever and ever and ever. Lord, help me to rest in that today and put my trust wholly in you. Second way we can pray from this particular passage is trusting that history is in the hands of the Most High. It says that he changes times and seasons, he, he's, he removes kings, he sets up kings, all things are in his hands. And so we can be sure that whatever happens in November, that it is happening in accordance with his sovereign will. We can rest in that. And in the meantime, also pray that God would uh, move and meet our, uh, the, the, the concerning things in our day. How do we do that? Well, look what it continues to say. God gives us some stuff. And so we pray, or let me back up again. As we pray, you turn that into a prayer by saying, Lord, I thank you that your reign is forever and that all things that are going to happen are in your hands and I trust you in that. But then we pray that he would speak into our experience in this way. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. So we can pray and ask, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me understanding so I can know how to speak to this day. Uh, speak to this moment. How do I talk to my coworkers? How do I talk to my children? How do I talk to my friends uh, in a way that would be productive and helpful? And so you turn that into a prayer by saying, God, help me with this. And say, Lord, give me wisdom and understanding on how I ought to vote. Give me wisdom and understanding on how I ought to engage. How engage in a way, engage in this moment in a way that reflect doesn't reflect culture, but reflects the character of God. We can ask him for that gift. And you know what he says about when we ask him for good gifts? He gives them to us. So may this passage and other passages inform your prayers. As you're, If you're overwhelmed with what's going on right now, we can trust in his rule, we can trust in his goodness, and we can trust that he will give us what we need to face the day. Amen? Blessings on